Hello guys and welcome to another video. Um, today I really want to talk to you about uh, storage expandability. One of my buddies the other day asked me how he can expand his storage relatively cheaply and it sort of gave me the idea to uh, talk about it on YouTube as well. Something that surprisingly I haven't really seen other uh, tech tubers talk about it too much. I don't know why but you know uh, storage can get uh you know relatively expensive and depending on what you want to buy whether it's going to be nvme or solid state um uh, you can be paying a lot and considering that especially in canada um you know right now january 21st 2023 um with the increasing uh you know recession and, and inflation and everything you know especially computer components are going to be costing a lot so these used to be in my primary tower um, not long ago. I just don't use them anymore because I have all of, you know, this nightmare. Um, th these are SAS cages. Uh, th this, this one in particular is found in uh, Lenovo Think servers. I think 140, uh, I don't remember if they had generations or not. Uh, please correct me if, if they do. And this is found in a Hewlett Packard Enterprise ML Gen 7 and Gen 6. So the reason why I have these two cages in particular is because, well, this one is, it's, it's really compact. I have a, uh, the, the tower that I have, this one fits very, very flush. And I use these two to sort of hold it. I used to, sorry. Uh, use these two holes to hold it in place and with this I it was great because the uh, little wings on the side had four screws that would just hold it in place and it was great so um kind of wanted to talk to uh to uh, the advantage of of uh SAS over SATA serial attached SCSI uh when compared to SATA one of the drawbacks is that um it needs a separate controller first and foremost now whether that's going to be a hba or as some of you might know it a it flashed card from lsi and or a raid controller so that's one of the biggest uh drawbacks is because with consumer motherboards you can't really control sas drives um and number two they consume slightly more power when you compare them one to one with a sata drive however and this is very important to note, SAS drives, when fighting with a SATA drive, sorry, when compared to a SATA drive, SAS drives have full duplex, meaning that they send and receive uh, data at the same time. And that's because um, the SAS connector is not separated. It's, um, it's all together. And that little uh, bridge that usually sort of separates the the SATA 90 degree angle 7 pin for data and the 15 pin for power is actually taken by a couple extra pins. I think it's four extra pins and that's really what allows the full duplex mode. And I believe that um, whenever you're considering uh, storage expandability, SAS is definitely a worthy contender, especially if you wanna uh, you know, upgrade storage on, on, on like a relatively tight budget. So one of these, uh, SAS cages, uh, used to hold 12 or 16, no, 12 terabytes of, of data. And that was, uh, 12 terabytes across four hard drives. And, um, they were each three, three terabytes, uh, each. And, um, I, this one was empty or I don't know if it was, I don't know what was the order, but I know that one of the SAS cages held 12 terabytes of data and, uh, it was very cheap because in Canada dollars, I had 12 terabytes for, I think it was like a measly $150, which I don't even think you can buy a SATA drive for $150, especially, uh, in, uh, early 2023. So, um, you know, if uh, if you're looking for a quick uh, expandability, uh, SATA, SATA, uh, sorry, not SATA, SAS is definitely a uh, noteworthy contender budget-wise, um, you know, when it comes to uh, you shopping around for options. Uh, 
another drawback sorry that i forgot to mention about uh serial attached SCSI is that it's not really the most user friendly as you can see uh these are whole independent cages that you have to in one way shape or form fit into your tower however that's not always the case if you go on aliexpress you can find uh a, a sff 8087 breakout cables uh which uh depending on the type you find you can essentially find one that's the full connector with the uh with the two with the two data cables going towards the uh uh sf8087 and then you're gonna have like a independent little sata uh connector for power and uh you know it's they're not really that expensive i think they're like six or seven dollars for breakout cable uh depending on who you find it from um usually two sas cages just means two breakout connect uh two breakout cables sorry and uh you know you're you're pretty much set um another thing to note is that sometimes uh sas cages are going to be very very proprietary like for example the lenovo one it has its uh you know pretty universal sf8087 but as you can see the power connector is proprietary and i'm going to talk about it in a separate video um how you can hook it up but these are one of the more uh simple proprietary uh cages which you can adapt and uh you know it, it just requires like maybe five minutes of soldering and uh a wire stripper and you know your soldering skills don't really have to be that great um whereas the uh hp um cages are not proprietary at all surprisingly uh if you can just turn it around over here we're gonna see that it is powered by uh two molex four pin connectors with you know the the standardized uh you know sff 8087 um i, I do want to apologize for my absence and uh i've been working out of the province for the past two weeks uh the project that i'm working on is is going to continue to be out of province at least for the close foreseeable future so i'm probably gonna shotgun five or six videos and upload them on youtube periodically when i have time to edit them otherwise it's probably gonna be maybe another month until i can uh, be back home to uh you know uh make a video so you know thank you for tuning in i'm sorry this is kind of brief but uh this is kind of a noteworthy uh thing especially when, when it comes to uh budget computing and you know enterprise hardware but you know in case uh anyone is ever looking for a little bit of hardware uh sorry not hardware storage expansion uh please do consider these two uh viable uh sorry uh viable options thank you and i'll see you in the next one bye for now